Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on anubavtrainings.com. In our last episode of this overview training on SAP Datasphere, we talked about how to configure and create your first ETL data flow and execute the same in SAP Datasphere Cloud. In our today's session, we will learn about some of the advanced capability of integrating Python script with SAP Datasphere data flows. Why do we need Python script to be integrated with data flows? So many times you would want to work with massive amount of data and working with such massive amount of data requires very high computational power. Also, we want to perform array operations, complex array operations on top of our two dimensional data set like tables. The Python integration with Datasphere allows us to perform these operations very quickly and effectively. It utilizes two very powerful Python frameworks such as NumPy and Pandas framework to perform massive calculations like a data science expert. As you all aware, the Python is one of the top used programming language today for data science. So keeping that in mind, SAP have also allowed integration of Python with especially Python's Pandas framework with SAP Datasphere. So let's have a look at it in action. Before we start today's class, I would like you to smash the like button. Please feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon to join the channel so that whenever we upload new content on Datasphere, you will be notified. Kindly share this video in the WhatsApp group of your friends and colleagues so that they can also take free advantage of this overview training on Datasphere. Having said that, let's begin our use case for today of integrating Python script with data flows in SAP Datasphere. So what I have here is a store data set for supermarket sales. And in this, I can see that I have a column called unit price and quantity. Typically in Excel file, if you want to calculate revenue, you would go ahead and multiply this unit price with the quantity. And that's how you will calculate the revenue. And then you will repeat this calculation for every record. But what about you have billions of records in a Datasphere system? Can Excel help you for that? Answer is no. Hence, we need something more powerful. And that's where Dataflow with Python scripting comes into picture. The another use case is I can see the date in mm slash dd slash yyyy format. My goal is to format this data or date into yyyy-mm-dd, which is the common and widely accepted and known format for date. All these kind of operations we can quickly do with the help of Python Pandas library integrated with SAP Datasphere. So I have already uploaded this data set into our SAP Datasphere environment. And I'll switch over back to my Datasphere environment where you can see I have uploaded this supermarket sales data with these columns. I would like to create new column at runtime to calculate the total revenue and also the formatted date. For that, I will switch over back to create now a data flow. So let's create a data flow. And I will first add our database table, which is the supermarket sales. And right after that, I will integrate a Python script. You can see the default language here is Python. Right now, that's the only language supported at the moment. Now, we move on to edit the Python script. Let's call it as calculate revenue. And you can see here a brief description about what is that they are doing. So what we receive is a default data frame object. Data frame is nothing but like your internal table seen above. They are two dimensional structure and they are very, very powerful while performing array operations 
on your data using Python. SAP also permit you to use the NumPy and Pandas framework. Data frames are the main data objects in Pandas framework. So now you see without writing any loop, I can directly perform an array operation on my column names. So what I want to do, I want to create a new column and return that column name as revenue as part of output of my data frame. And I will use data of my unit price column. So we can go back to the Excel file to avoid any typo and copy unit price multiplied by quantity superb so that is how my data frame would look like awesome stuff isn't it no need for writing any loop directly for every row it will do this multiplication and put the result in corresponding row new column revenue also i want to introduce one more column formatted it And I want to use the pandas framework and SAP does uh, utilize or allows us to use the pandas framework with the help of pandas framework we can use functions in the system which allows us to perform the conversions so I use a function called to date time if you're interested to look at the documentation of pandas you can always go ahead and search it over the Google there is large amount of documentation available on pandas you can see here date time function on pandas and there is a documentation also available simply google and you will get it because there are millions of developers working today as of now on data science with python and there are millions of examples available on google for you to utilize and integrate with sap data sphere you don't need to be a rocket scientist to do this with a very simple easy learning over the social media you will be able to become expert on pandas coming back we will now use this and we will pass of course our data from our data frame and the data for the date is in the date column d capital in case of errors i would want to ignore so this is an additional parameter i will pass to the system to tell the system that in case there are any errors or issues kindly ignore the same now it is always a good practice to end every statement with semicolon but it is also fine that the proper indentation ends your statement yes so that is my code final code which i am planning to use here for the purpose of calculation now since we are introducing two new column revenue and formatted date we need to also add them in the output so i will go to columns and i will add new calculated columns first is revenue of decimal type let's say 10 up to 2 decimals and then next is the formatted date make sure they are case sensitive and they follow the same naming pattern done congratulations let's go back unfortunately sap yet do not provide any syntax check over here so we do not have any way to check our syntax until unless we run the data flow so we are happy and finally we will produce a output in a output table let's call it as uh, store supermarket or yeah that's the output database table I save it and now I would like to generate so click on create and deploy so first of all this new table will get created which will persist our data which is produced by the by the data flow or by this Python script so there will be 19 columns inside that so a new table gets created over there and that is my data flow as of now I can zoom out and now it's time to Go ahead and deploy my data flow and execute the same so let's call it as supermarket data flow or anubhav okay cool so now i can proceed further and click on run it was quite fast and it's time to 
run my data flow. So you see data flow is started and it is running. You can keep refreshing the status over here and you can here also jump to the data integration monitor directly to monitor your data integration, uh, data, data flow integration directly. So you can see it has started the run. It is currently running the first step. And in case there are any issues in our Python script, it will tell you here. Yeah, as there is no design time syntax check available at the moment, at runtime, if it fails, you will get to know the issues over here. It would have been more better if SAP would have given a basic syntax check plus a step-by-step -step debugging option. But unfortunately, we don't have that like in a traditional programming language. So you got to probably test your code earlier through VS Code or something and then bring in that, that code over here to make sure that your code is robust enough to integrate with Dataflow. So I can just also refresh to see what's going on and it's completed successfully. They're green. That's what everybody wants to see in the demo. And I want to go back and just show you the final output table. So let's go back to the output table and view the data which was produced with this entire integration execution. And that's our data set. So if I scroll to the right side, you can see it has calculated the revenue fantastic and it has got also my dates formatted so many times you would want uh, to uh, to format your dates in a certain format coming from a non sap or a another sap bw or bpc or uh, s4 hana system so this could be a great way of formatting your data using the python uh, pandas framework along with the data frames so that's it for the demo today for more detailed training on datasphere and python Join my SAP Datasphere course on anubautrainings.com where we have covered complete Python end-to-end -end training for you as part of our Datasphere training. And we have also covered in detail data frames and pandas library with lots of source code examples. With that, thank you so much for joining the session today. All right, so that comes to the end of this episode. I hope you're enjoying this video series with me, Anubhav, on SAP Datasphere. So I would request you to kindly share this video with your fellow colleagues and also subscribe the channel if you have not done so, so that you will be notified automatically once I upload the next video on this free series. Once again, Anubhav signing out. Look forward for live training on SAP Datasphere, watch out on anubautrainings.com. You can also send us an email on contact at anubautrainings.com for a detailed corporate training on SAP Datasphere. Thank you so much. See you and goodbye.